right, so we're going to look at the data entry for experiment number nine. Okay, um, here I have entered in the data already and confirmed that. And you'll notice I have the heavier mass uh, for the sodium hydroxide. I've put the heavier mass first and the lighter mass um, second. Okay, so it was a little bit confusing um, in that way, um, but just make sure you have the heavier one first and then the lighter one, and it'll be okay. Likewise, um, at the bottom, we have uh, the heavier one first and then the lighter one, All right? And then for the heat of fusion part, since we did not uh, do that experiment, um, I just uh, put in some round figures, and we'll work with those. Okay, so first uh, let's, let's just go through here. We have uh, the mass of the water, okay? So beforehand um, we have the data for the, uh, the mass of the dry calorimeter and then with the water. So just the difference between those two will be the mass of the water. All right, so um, I have the uh, data values entered into uh, Excel. Um, I just copied and pasted these so I could do some calculations with them easily. And um, so here is uh, are my two masses. I'm just going to find the difference between those, and that is 48.8165. So I put that in here, 48.8165, and there it tells me that my calculation is correct. Okay. Um, now I want to find out how much sodium hydroxide did I add. Okay, and this is where if you got these backwards, um, it's going to ask you, or it'll think the right answer is a negative value, which doesn't really make sense. Okay, you can't have a negative mass. So here I have uh, the two um, masses for the sodium hydroxide and, and with the, uh, the cap and the vial. So I'm going to subtract those. I get 1.8513. Eight five one three, and there we go. All right. So so far, pretty straightforward. Just simple differences. Uh, likewise, the uh, delta T again. Uh, that's the difference in temperature. So we have the maximum temperature, thirty point one, and we have the temperature, um, the initial temperature of the water in the calorimeter, at twenty one point three. And so we can subtract those two, and that gives us the temperature change. In my case, 8.8 um, degrees. Okay. All right. Next, we have the mass of the resulting solution. Okay. So this time the resulting solution that's from the, the addition of the sodium hydroxide. So we have the mass of the water and we have the mass of the sodium hydroxide. So the mass of the solution is going to be the uh, both of those together. Okay, so the sum of both of those. And I get 50.6678. Okay, so 50.6678 and on to the next. All right. The heat gained by the resulting solution. Okay. So I'm talking about the heat gained. Okay. And my units will be in joules. And uh, you'll notice um, in the uh, explanatory notes that I sent by email, I said for this question, um, this is going to be the, uh, it, it's Q equals MC delta T. That's the equation we use to find the heat, uh, the, to calculate the heat. And this is for the NaOH solution. 
Okay, so I have Q equals MC delta T, um, and there's my delta T. Okay, so the mass is the mass of the solution. That's my 50.6678, and uh, the specific heat, I also said in my notes, to use the specific heat of water. Okay, we're using that as an approximation for the specific heat of the solution since it's mostly water. Okay, so, uh, and then the delta T, of course, is my 8.8. .8. So what I have here is that mass times 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius times my delta T, and what I end up with is 1865 um, 0.548 uh, joules. Okay, if you um, do this calculation here, uh, my mass is in grams. My delta T, of course, is in uh, degrees Celsius, and um, which is it's, it's a change in temperature, so it is also equivalent to saying Kelvin. All right, because Kelvin and Celsius degrees are the same size, and um, so mass degrees C, and then my uh, specific heat is 4.184 joules per gram uh, degree C. Okay, so my grams and my degrees C will cancel when I multiply those, and I'll get joules. So that's 1865.5, um, and if I look at my tolerance over here, it says plus or minus one in the third significant figure. So I just need to round this up, and it'll be 1870. Okay. All right. Calculation correct, and we move on. Heat of hydration for sodium hydroxide. Okay, The units are the key, joules per mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay, So here's my uh, the heat gained by that solution. Oh, and by the way, it's heat gained, so that's going to have to be a positive value. Um, but the heat of hydration is the opposite. It's the heat given off, so it's going to be negative. Okay, So I'm going to take those joules, and they're divided by moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so the heat gained by the solution is the heat that was given off um, by the sodium hydroxide when it was added to the water. Okay, so I just need to divide that by the moles of sodium hydroxide, and um, how do I get the moles of sodium hydroxide? Well, I have, uh, I have grams of sodium hydroxide here, so I can convert that to moles, okay? And this is in, oops, uh, joules. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, find the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, which is um, uh, 22.9898 is the um, atomic mass for sodium, and uh, for oxygen and hydrogen, we have 15.9994 and 1.00794. Sum those up, and there's my molar mass for sodium hydroxide. Okay, um, so I want joules per uh, per mole, so this is in what units? This one is in grams per mole. All right, that's my molar mass, grams per mole. So I take my joules, uh, and I want to divide that by uh, my mass first. So divided by the grams. And then I convert that grams to uh, moles.
moles by multiplying so that the grams will cancel. I have grams on the bottom and this is, would be grams on top if I multiply. And then that'll put moles on the bottom, which is what I want, joules per mole. So there we go. There's our joules per mole, 40,305. Uh, 40, uh, okay. Again, this is going to be um, to the uh, you know, third significant figure, so that'll be four, negative 403, uh, 40,300. Okay? Um, again, negative. Don't forget that negative, even though in our calculation we didn't have it. Okay? So there we go.